Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be teaching you how to make this beautiful baby dress. The size is zero to three months. This dress is very easy and fast to make. And I will tell you step by step how you can make it. This is the yarn that I will be using today. It's a four medium, 100% uh, cotton. And we need a little bit of green uh, color as well. Five millimeters crochet hook and a 5.5 millimeters crochet hook. Scissors, measuring tape. And we also need um, pearls uh, for decoration. Hot glue gun in a tapestry needle. And we also need some of these crochet markers. We're going to start by making one slip knot on the hook. And then we're going to chain 40, 42. One, two, three, four, five. The chain 42 measures about 10 inches and a half, or if you like centimeters, it's going to be 27 centimeters. We are going to skip one and two, and in the third, make one double crochet. Just continue making one double crochet in each chain. At the end, we should have 40 double crochets. Row number two, start making two chains. These are not going to count as one stitch. We're going to use them as buttonholes. Beginning in the first stitch, uh, we're going to change the stitch and make extended double crochet. And to do that, yarn over, insert the hook in the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through only one loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Make one more. And in the next, we are going to make one increase. We're going to make two extended double crochet into the same space. Okay, the sequence is going to be two extended double crochets and then one increase. This is one. Two. and one increase. And you are going to continue repeating this all the way across, making two extended double crochets and then one increase. Finish making one extended double crochet in the last stitch. For the number three, chain two and turn, beginning in the first stitch, make one extended double crochet, one extended double crochet in the next, and one extended double crochet in the next. One increase. For the row number three, number three we are going to make three extended double crochets and then one increase. One, two, and three. One increase in the next stitch. One, 
and you are going to continue repeating making three extended double crochets and then one increase finish making one extended double crochet into the last stitch we are always going to finish making one stitch here for the number four chain two and turn beginning in the first one for this one we are going to make a total of four extended double crochets and then we're going to make the increase We have two, three, four. Next stitch, one increase. Four extended double crochets. One, two, three, and four. one increase in the next and this is the sequence for the number four making four extended double crochets and then one increase for the number five chain two and turn beginning in the first one for this one we're going to make five extended double crochets and then one increase one two three four five and then the increase increase means make two double crochets into the same space one two three four five and then one increase and this is the sequence for the number five making five extended double crochets and then one increase i am done here with the number five i already mark my stitches we are going to leave 13 stitches for the back then we are going to skip 20 stitches we have 26 stitches for the front then we're going to skip 20 stitches for the slip and we're going to finish with 13 stitches for the second part of the back we are going to make one slip stitch here to start uh, working in rounds in, on top of the double crochet okay. chain two and we are going to start in the first stitch making one extended double crochet and we are going to keep making one extended double crochet in each stitch until we have 13 we are going to skip 20 stitches we're going to start here making the extended double crochet count the stitches that you have here you need to have 20. now continue making one extended double crochet in each stitch until you have 26 in total I have here 26 do uh, extended double crochets and this is the front part of the dress and the next step is keep all these 20 stitches here make sure uh, that you're leaving 20 stitches here and finish making one extended double crochet in the last uh, 13 stitches I am done with this uh, round. I will change my hook to the 5.5 millimeters hook. We're going to make the slip stitch on top of the first stitch here. Extend the double crochet. And for this round, we are going to make uh, double crochets, but we need to increase four stitches. 
So just make regular double crochets here. I will increase one stitch in this part. I will continue making double crochets. We need to increase three more double crochets. Okay, I made one increase here in the back. And here in the front, I will make two increases. I will start here in the second stitch of the front. I have one increase here. I will make my increase here. So we have three increases. And I will make my fourth and last increase here in the in the back. And now we have four increases. Just finish making one double crochet to the end. Okay, now we have 56 stitches. For the number eight, we start by making three chains. Go back to the same space and make one double crochet, two chains, and make two more double crochets into the same space. One into chains, we're going to skip one and two and then make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two, skip two stitches and here make one shell with two double crochets, two chains, and two double crochets. Chain two, skip two stitches and then make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Two chains, skip two stitches, make one shell with two double crochets, two chains, and two double crochets. And this is the sequence that we're going to be following for the round number eight. Making one shell, then chain two, skip two stitches, then make three double crochets, chain two, skip two stitches, and then make the shell with two double crochets, two chains, and two double crochets. I finished making my three double crochets, then finish with two uh, chains, we have two stitches left, so skip those two stitches. And we are going to make a slip stitch all the way to the chain uh, two space. So it will make three slip stitches. For the rounds number nine and 10, we are going to repeat the number eight. We're going to start by making three chains, go back to the same space, one double crochet, two chains, and make two more double crochets into the same space. We have the first shell, then chain two, make one double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Two chains, and next is the shell, one, two, two chains, and two double crochets. Two chains, and we're going to make one double crochet in each of the three stitches from the previous round. And this is how we're going to be working for the round number nine and 10 repeating the number eight.
I am down here with the number 10. We're going to slip a stitch three times to the chain to space. We are going to start the same here for all the rounds, making the chain three and then one double crochet, two chains and two more double crochets. Chain two and and we are going to be increasing one stitch here. We're going to start by making one stitch in the first double crochet. In the second one, we are going to make the increase. We have two double crochets and then one more double crochet. The difference is going to be that we have for the number eight, nine and 10, three stitches. And for the number 11, we're going to have four double crochets. Chain two. Make one shell on top of the next uh, shell. And two more double crochets here. Two chains. And we are going to make one double crochet in the first stitch. And we can make the increase in the middle one. If you prefer, you can make the increase at the beginning as well. We're going to make chain two and one, two double crochets, two chains and two more double crochets. Two chains and we are going to make one double crochet in the first and then one increase. And you are going to continue repeating this all the way around. Okay, for the number 12, I already make my shell here, chain two. And for this one, we are going to increase one stitch here. You can increase it in the first, in the second, in the last, it doesn't matter. And this is going to be the difference between the number 11 and the 12 that we have here four. And then in the 12, we have five stitches here. Then you're going to keep um, making the two chains, then the shell with two double crochets, two chains and two double crochets, then chain two. And in this part is uh, where we are going to be making the increases. And just continue repeating this all the way to the end. I am done here with the number 12. And now for the number 13, I started with my shell, two chains. And for this one, we are going to increase one stitch here. I will stitch it here in the, I will increase the stitch in the third stitch. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. In the previous round, we have five, and now we will have six stitches. And for the rest, it's not going to change. It will continue making the two chains, and then one shell with two double crochets, two chains, and then two double crochets. Chain two. And we are going to be increasing here one more stitch. And as I told you before, it doesn't matter where you uh, make the increase. Okay. And you're going to be repeating this all the way to the end. Okay, this is how long is our dress and we need to keep uh, working until we have at least 12 inches okay we have 13 rounds in total 
I mark here the number 13 and I will just continue repeating the number 13 until uh, I have at least 12 inches long. So we're going to start by making the three chains, one double crochet and then the two chains and two more double crochets. So we're not going to increase uh, more. So here we're going to continue making six uh, double crochets. And then we are going to chain two and make one, two, two chains, and then two double crochets, two chains, and we're going to make one double crochet in each of the six stitches from the previous round. No more increases. Okay, just keep repeating this and I will finish my rounds and then I will tell you how many I did in total. Okay, this is how long it is. It's almost, 12, well, if you measure from the shoulder to the shoulder, it's almost 12 inches. And this is the uh, round number 13. So I make 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 rounds in total. And this is how much yarn I have left. For the next round, the number 19, I cut already the white color. And for my secondary color, it's going to be this um, purple. I will finish my slip stitch with the new color. And this is how I change colors all the time. And we are going to be making one round with single crochet. So start with one chain, go back to the same space here on top of the chain three and make one single crochet. Go to the double crochet and make one single crochet. In the chain two space here, make two single crochets. One and two. Next double crochet, one single and one single crochet here. In the chain two space, one and two single crochets. And then we're going to continue making one single crochet in each of the six double crochets here. Two single crochets in this chain to space. And one single crochet in each of the two double crochets. In each of the chain to space, you're going to be making two single crochets. And just continue repeating this all the way around. Okay, we're going to slip stitch on top of the first uh, single crochet made. One chain. For the last round, we're going to make one single crochet in the first stitch. Then we're going to skip one and two. And in the third, we're going to make three double crochets. Two chains. And th three more double crochets into the same space. one more now i have three double crochets skip two stitches and in the third make one single crochet skip two stitches in the next make one shell with three double crochets two chains and three double crochets Skip two stitches and make one single crochet. Skip two stitches and make one shell with three double crochets, two chains, 
in three double crochets. You're going to keep uh, repeating this all the way to the end. Okay, at the end, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six stitches left. So we do not have enough. But what I'm going to do is I will skip only one and make one single crochet. And then I will skip one and two. And in the third, I will make uh, three double crochets, two chains, and three more double crochets. Now we have only one stitch left. Just make one slip stitch here on top of the first single crochet, one chain, and we can cut the yarn. I have ready one of the slips. I will show you how to make the slip here. We're going to start on any stitch here in the back. We're going to make a round with single crochet. Here in this space, okay, let me show you here, we're going to make two. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And continue making one single crochet to the end. Okay, I have 26 single crochets. I changed the color to purple for the last round. Chain one, go back to the same space and make one single crochet. Then one chain, go back to the same space and make one single crochet. We are going to skip one stitch and in this next stitch, one single crochet, one chain, go back to the same space and make one single crochet. Skip one stitch and in the next, one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And just continue repeating this all the way around. Skip one and in the next, one single, one chain and one single crochet. Just keep repeating this all the way to the end. And to finish, just make one slip stitch on top of the first single crochet. We can cut this yarn. Don't forget to hide the ends. And now we're going to make a, a round, a row here for the neck. And we are going to start right here in the first uh, stitch on the left side. And we're going to make one single crochet here. One chain, go back to the same space, make one single crochet. Skip one stitch and in the next, one single crochet, one chain, and one single crochet. Skip one stitch, one single, one chain, and one single crochet. And you are going to continue repeating this all the way to the end. I am done with this part. I already uh, sewed the bottoms here to the back of the dress. And for bottom holes, we can use the same stitches here, just like that. And I will show you how to make the flowers and the leaves. Okay, I will start with the leaf. And for that, we need a 3.75 millimeters crochet hook. 
We're going to start by making one slip knot on the hook. And then we're going to chain uh, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I skip the first one and the second one, and in the third, make one single crochet. One half double crochet in the next. One double crochet in the next. And one half double crochet in the last. One chain and make one slip stitch right here. One chain and we can cut the yarn. And simple and fast um, leaf. For the flower, we're going to make a magic circle. Then we are going to chain three. One, two, and three. And we're going to make two double crochets. One, go back to the magic circle and make one more double crochet. One, two, and three chains. Make one slip stitch into the magic circle. One, two, and three. And make two double crochets. One and two double crochets. One, two, and three chains. And make one slip stitch here in the magic circle. And this is how you're going to be making the petals. So repeat uh, for a total of five petals. To finish, make the slip stitch into the magic circle. One chain. Cut the turn. Now close the magic circle. And we are going to make a knot here to secure these two ends. If you want to sew the flowers to the dress, you need to leave a longer tail. But I will use hot glue so I don't need a very long strand of yarn. This is optional, but I will add a ribbon to the waist, and this is one eighth of an inch. And I will add white and purple. We are going to hot glue the leaves to the flower first. If you want, you can add flowers here as well. And I will um, just um, arrange the flowers like this. And with hot glue, I will attach it to the dress. like this. Around the chest is going to be 15 inches. And 
and in centimeters is going to be 38 the length of the dress from the shoulder all the way to the end 32 centimeters and in inches is going to be 12 inches and a half and the armhole dip three inches and in centimeters is going to be seven centimeters okay this is the back of the dress and i just add two small bottoms here and this is the front of the dress i add here tool in fabric and this is optional And I also made a little headband here. This is elastic. And I placed, and placed three flowers. The same flowers that I did for the dress. And I will be making a pair of booties to go with the dress as well. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, and share on your social media. And I hope the process was clear to you any questions please let me know in the comments below thank you and have a wonderful day